So as I'm sitting here waiting for my lovely wife to come back from shopping, I may share with you a few things I do to pass the time. So my hat for one. Typically, this is the way one would wear the hat. However, this is very multifunctional. Pulling it down and coming all the way back up, you actually can take it into the way a typical run-of-the-mill Russian might wear it in Moscow. Uh, this has been a trend there for probably the last 50 years. Now, if you do not feel comfortable wearing it this, you can then pull it down such as this, and it gives you a little bit of a Devo talking head type of 3D planter hat look. I have worn this out in public. It does get a look or two, but I feel that other people have adopted the trend. Now, another one that is very popular nowadays, this is more in England than anywhere else. And you see it really at the racetracks and at royal weddings, is when you roll up the hat such as this, and you get it to something about like right here, then turn it askew, you then have the fascinator. And I think we've all seen that on the different royal weddings and such. Um, let me think if I can find one more. I don't know if it'll show up in here. We, of course, have the... Oh, I call this the German look. So this comes from the Russian. And then you just pull straight down in the front. And you have what turns into more of a Russian... Excuse me, a German hunting hat. So that works out well. And then finally, and this is kind of a boring one, but if you pull the head high on your head like this, turn it up a little here, squeeze it at the top. It's what I call the mohawk. I have worn this out in public as well. It does get a look or two as well. But anyway, this is what one does while waiting for his wife sitting in a car while she's off shopping in Petoskey, Michigan on a very mild zero degree centigrade day. Enjoy, have fun, take care.